tonight. Let's go to far off places and search for treasures bright. Come dream with me tonight. Let's build a giant airship and sail into the sky. Let's watch the ground so far below. Let's watch the birds as they fly by, fly so high. Come dream with me tonight. Welcome back, sports fans, to another exciting day of competition of Wizard Week. Your announcer, Louie, bringing you the play-by-play -play of the great Rondo Ground Race. Ooh, man, like this could be a close one. Like you know, I'm betting on Teddy. Villain on board. More like board of villain. <laughs> I hope you know how much this race means to me. You sniveling beach ball? No, but I'm sure you'll tell me. I've never challenged Mummy before. I'm afraid it might upset her. What a thoughtful son you are. Upset her when I leave her sucking dust at the finish line. <laughs> Ignore my previous statement. The biggest surprise today, Eleanor Tweak has formed her own team, refusing to be humiliated anymore by her own son. That nitwit son of mine isn't going to show up his own mother, is he? You never know with Tweed. If he does, he'll break his poor old mother's heart. <laughs> then I'll be forced to break his kneecap. And you certainly can't ignore the woolly what's-it and his team of fobs. <laughs> uh, are you fellers almost ready? Ready when you are ready. Okay, then here goes! I'm afraid one of you fellers will have to get off! Woodsprite entry is an unusual spring-powered design built by the students themselves. How's that, Seymour? It's a perfect fit, Miss Leota. Now, when the car slows down, I'll fly back and wind it up for you. Allow me to do it. Oh, why, thank you. But please, don't wind it up too much. You can trust me. <laughs> I warned you, not too much. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I don't know my own strength. <laughs> what do we do now? Quickly, students. If we work together, we might still be ready by race time. Things would go much uh, quicker if Grubby here would use all of his uh, uh, natural talent. A fellow's got to eat. I think you may have let your bet with Tweed get in the way of having fun, Gimmick. Certainly uh, not. I'm, uh, 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 I'm having fun. Don't I look like I am? Oh, uh, sure. As the races approach the start line, let's look at the route they'll be taken. The race starts here at the base of the volcano. Our races then cross the Great Desert, making sure to avoid the mudbluff caves, then through woodly bog and boggly woods. Finally, ending up in Gimmicks Valley, where they'll camp for the night. And who's responsible for this incredible event? Our own wonderful wizard! Yay! Thank you, thank you. If you care to, you may throw money. And just what a wonderful prize awaits the winner of Wizard Week is anyone's guess. Yes, mine too. I wish he wouldn't keep yapping about this blasted prize. Racers, on your marks. There he is. <laughs> Go get him, Timo. Yeah. 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 Get set. Watch out now, buddy. Mm. <laughs> Go. And there's the start. The races are all running neck and neck. Wait for me. Yeah. 
Well, almost all the races. <laughs> yes, so we a great start to a great day. What's this? What a terrible way to start the day. Why, is something wrong, Eurekinus? My breakfast is still moving. Oh, we'll take care of it right away! I just lost my appetite. Look! I was sure I got them all! No, no, that idiot Twee! He's participating in the Great Grundo Ground Race today. I want you three to get down there and bring him back. But the race has already started, your nastiness! Then you'd better hurry, hadn't you? Here's a move by that intrepid treason in their mighty airship. Soon, we shall come to the uh, uh, mountain pass at Woodley Bog. Oh boy, this sure is exciting. Indeed it is. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we need more uh, uh, coal to power ourselves over the uh, pass. I'm afraid we'll have to go into the Mudblub Cave for that. Unfortunately, that appears to be the uh, only solution. Yuck! Sure hope we don't meet up with any of them slimos. Hmm, perhaps we could use the uh, invisibility crystal so they can't see us. Good thinking, Gimmick. Well, in that case, I volunteer to go. <laughs> A little more to the right, please, uh, uh, Grubby. <gasps> oh, my! Uh, this is most uh, unusual. What's happened to Grubby? I uh, believe I've used the uh, uh, wrong crystal. Hey, I appear to be slowed down. What are we going to do? We can't leave him like this. Just give me a moment to consider the uh, uh, options of such a situation. Well, I don't think we have a moment. The sun is moving behind the clouds. That means it'll be dark enough for the mudblubs to come out. Oh, no. There they are. Quick, reverse the crystal and see what happens. Splendid idea, Teddy. <laughs> Hey, watch it, Slimo. Let me out of here. Heavens to Grundo! I believe we have discovered a new use for this, uh, 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 crystal. <laughs> Let's see if it works on anything else. I've got an idea. How about those ants down there? Uh, 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 uh. May I suggest we conclude these uh, uh, festivities and collect our much needed uh, 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 fuel? Good idea, Gimmick. Let's go. Now that we know what the fast crystal does, why don't we use it to win the race? Well, that wouldn't be fair, Grubby. The rules say we have to make all our equipment, and we didn't make the crystals. But if we don't use the crystals, Twig might win by cheating. In which case, I'll lose my uh, house. Well, I wouldn't want that to happen, Gimmick. But just because Twig cheats doesn't mean that we should. Hmm. I never thought of it that way. Anyway, Gimmick's inventions are so good, they're really all we need to win. Well, <laughs> thank you, Teddy. Uh, uh, I certainly hope you're uh, right. Full speed ahead! It looks good for Teddy and his friends. With this kind of great lead, they'll be hard to catch. So, uh, hey, where are we? Oh, oh, uh, the Mudblop Caves! Oh, dear, I was afraid that's what it was. 
Ooh, uh, I wonder which way we go from here. Look, got to be Prince. But, 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 those gotta be Grubby's footprints. He's the only octopede in Grando. And they lead right into the cave. But, 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 then I guess that's the way we have to go. There you have it, folks. Wooly and the Fobs are making a big move. Uh-oh. Here's a new development. It's Aaron and Arusia. Following the what's-it. Bad move. They must think the Harry Wonder knows where he's going. And right behind them, and into the cave, go Leota and Seymour. Followed by Tweeg. Hmm. Who's busy throwing all the extra weight overboard? <laughs> Oops, sorry, Mummy. Stop calling me that! It's spineless whims like you that give Mummyhood a bad name! Prisoners. We better do as he says. I think we should stay and fight. Trust me, Seymour. We surrender. <laughs> These bars are too wide to hold us in here, and you knew it all the time. That's right. Now, isn't this better than having to fight a big, muddy bully? <sighs> I the woodly fuck, man. This is Louie, high above the mudbluff caves in the sports reporter copter. The surf plungers are catching a good wind, which should take them to the pass. This way, dude. Oh. Awesomely weird directions, you know. But like, you're the navigator, man. Totally in control, dude. But what's this? It seems everybody's making mistakes. Yes, folks, there are more goofs here than at the monthly meeting of Marvel. Look oh! out! Yeah, that was close! Ah! Whoa! Uh, hang on, fellas! <laughs> what were you going, you brainless furball? Of here, along with my chance to get ahead. Don't worry, LB. We'll soon end up on top. Did you say stop? Okay, you're a force. No, no, what I said was. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always me? We're still awaiting the outcome of the Mudblood Cave Catastrophe. And here comes the voice competitors now. Mm. Ah, sunlight! You're right for thinking you could beat Tweed the Unbeatable! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm home free now! <laughs> Don't stand there gawking, you pinhead puffball! Get me out of this muck! But you ain't in muck, boss. Well then, what do you call this stop? I call it quicksand. Quicksand? Oh no, help me out of here, I'm sinking fast! 
Kind of a touching moment, ain't it? <laughs> yes, it makes me want to sing. Well then, hit it, gorgeous. My boy, I must. Your mom just must. Bid you adieu. You're sinking fast, alas, alas, into the slimy goo. Get me out of here! You're sinking fast into the goo. This is our last chance to say we'll miss you. It's sure been grand and lots of fun. You're in quicksand, quicksand. I'd lend a hand, but I have none. Help me, you idiots! We pull you out without a doubt, but we're busy as you can see. We have to sing, sing a ling a zing zing. This harmony so prettily. Help me! Throw me a rope! In a minute, boss. There's one more chorus. You're sinking fast into the goo. This is our last chance to say we'll miss you never more. Will you be mean? I'd be blue. Blue. If I was you and you weren't green. If I were you and you weren't green. LB, get some rope! You remember? It's that long, thin stuff that looks exactly like rope! You ain't exactly in a good bargaining position, Twas. Do you think you ought to try being nice to me? Nice? I'll be better than nice! I'll even pay you! I never thought I'd hear those words! Me neither. I'd love to stay around and see you cash your check, but I've got a race to win! <laughs> Look! There's the guy we're looking for! Oh, just when you think things can't get worse. Eh? Queller can't wait to see you! Oh, nuts. There goes my paycheck. Hey, you guys better hurry up. A tweef can't wait to see Quella either. <gasps> what do you mean? What's he got to be so eager about? Uh, you don't understand. He can't wait because he ain't going to last that long. I'm afraid it's fatal. Oh, uh, what's fatal? Tweep's disease. Wolf and puff disease. He coughs at you once, your history. I hope you guys have had your shots. Oh, uh, gosh. Uh, uh, did Queller say uh, collect twig? Oh, uh, what's to collect twigs? Oh, on second thought, I'm sure it was Twigs. Bye! I never thought I'd thank you for anything, LB. Oh, shucks, boss. So I won't. And then, poof, you just leave? How can you fools be fooled by such a complete fool? I, uh, wasn't easy. Yeah, it took lots of training. Step right up, folks, and get your peanuts programs in. Hug your wizard buttons. I think I see something coming, folks. Yes, it looks like in the lead is. Yes, it looks like it looks like a great race. Awesome, man. There's bound to pass. On the Gimmick Valley, man. And here they come. It's Teddy, Grubby, and Gimmick out in front, followed by Wooly and the Fobs, with Darren and Arusia close behind. Then it's Leota and Seymour. Next, with Eleanor and Sparky only slightly ahead of Twig and LB. But wait, what's this? The Cyphrunges have taken the lead. Yeah! And the Cyphrunges are... The winners! As you can see, no team has yet emerged as a true winner, so that fabulous prize is still up for grabs. Be with us for the final exciting day of racing, right here during Wizard Week. This is Louie, signing off. <laughs>